Sutter, what's your favorite part about this room? It's the part where we get to play together and when we play teacher and we have fun together. What's your favorite part about this room? My Lego corner because I have so many Legos. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>back to our youtube channel you guys we are at my house today and i'm so excited my daughters are making their youtube debut i don't know how excited versus nervous they are but they're in their room right now and we decided that we wanted to show you a better look at their current space kind of walk you through what we love about it walk you through what we did from a renovation standpoint five years ago and then also talk about how excited they are about their new rooms at our new house, the ODL house, which you have been following along also on YouTube. So you can look for those videos on the channel. While you're here, like and subscribe, talk to us in the comments, we always respond. Um, but I'm excited to introduce you to my little ladies. So let's go. So a lot happens in this room. Our girls are gonna color. I'm gonna give you kind of some mom and designer advice, if you will, or um, a synopsis of how we kind of designed the space. Five years ago, they were a lot littler than they are now. And so this room has really had to grow and transition with them. So right behind me, this is where they sleep, obviously. So both of their beds, twin beds, they love their beds. I think it's been a really good use of space to have them right next to each other, kind of on this side of the room versus the play on the other side of the room. So when you're designing for kids, what we found is that kids really like dedicated zones. So in this room, we tried to make sure that they had dedicated zones. So this is kind of the sleeping zone, obviously, right? Getting ready, that kind of deal. And then over here, this is Harper's Lego corner. She loves Lego. And so we wanted her to have a dedicated space where she could build. She has all of her stuff organized here. And then we have books above her that both of the girls can get to, of course. And then over here, this is kind of our play zone. I can't believe I'm showing you guys this <laughs> because this is like really messy <laughs> and it, but it is what it is, right? Kids are here and ultimately they need to feel comfortable in their space. So, um, and this is cleaned up. I'm not gonna lie and tell you that I just let you come in here without even cleaning anything up, but it's still pretty freaking messy. But whatever it is what it is like i said so this is a play zone so we display legos here we have different bins with all of their different stuff which again we try to keep organized my girls are super into school playing school so this has become kind of the teacher corner they know that i do not like at all i'm looking at them i'm looking at you guys and i'm looking at them behind the camera i do not like at all when they tape things to the walls but they just keep taping things to the walls <laughs> and it's okay. They tell me all the time that it's because they're playing teacher and in their classrooms, there's stuff all over the walls. So I try to get my Zen on and allow this to happen, right girls? This little rug was just like a cheap little rug we got on Amazon, but Sutter loves it. Sutter is our littlest, she's seven. You didn't get that from Amazon, Santa got that for me. Oh, you got, Santa got it for you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought this came from Amazon. No. Mommy was gonna take the credit for that and it's actually Santa. <laughs> okay, well she knows, she knows best. So this came from Santa. And over here, this is kind of again, another part of their, their classroom, if you will. The, this is their dresser where they actually have all their clothes. More books above, we're a big book family. And then more kind of play area. So I think a couple things that we need in this space is a little bit of separation now that they're getting older, as I mentioned. They're into different things and they need some more space. So in their new, in our new house, in their new rooms, they have separate rooms and then we have one rumpus room in the middle of their rooms, which is where they'll play and get, get you know wild and be able to tape things to the walls. I hope not, no tape in the new house, girls. No tape <laughs> in the new house. <laughs> But um, we also just need, need more space for them for closets, like this closet. I'm gonna show you this. Are you ready for this? This one we did not clean. Um, but this is the extent of their closet and it pretty much looks the same on the other side. So we need, we just need more space. We're busting at the seams, it seems. Um, but 
for, for the most part, I think this room has just really done such a great job in allowing them to grow and to feel safe and to play anything and everything they could possibly imagine. Um, I'm gonna tell you too a little bit about what we did from a renovation standpoint in this space. One of the main things we did in this room was create one big room out of two rooms. Do you want to talk about the wall? Uh, no. Why? Because I was so little. I was two years old. That's right. Oh my gosh, you were you were a baby. You weren't even two. You were like eight, like 15 months. So you don't remember the wall that used to be here? No, but Sissy told me about it. Sissy told you about it. Okay, so I'll explain the wall. There used to be, so like I said, this used to be two rooms. He is in like the worst place possible. But there used to be, number one rule of being on YouTube, you can't turn your back to the camera. So turn around. <laughs> what you want? Um, so there used to be a wall here as you've now gathered. We knocked the wall down so that it would be one big space. We called it the bunk room at the time and we actually had bunks. So there was a bunk bed over here. We've oh, since- I remember that. You remember that? So we've since gone to the twin beds, but there was also, back up, back up, there was also a door right here. So as you saw that Lego corner, that used to be a doorway. So you'd enter into this, this room like this through here. And then this door was also a door into this bedroom. So we filled this in to make that little nook so that we could do a built-in desk. And then we way expanded this opening and added a barn door, right? We love the barn door. So this door, I think just allows for the opening to the room to have a little bit more grandeur. It feels, it's bigger than any of the other openings. And because this space is right off of our main living space, I wanted it to feel like it was an extension of the main living space. I didn't just want it to have a bedroom door like you would probably see normally. So you walk in, you walk through the barn door, and now we have this big open room. So the other thing I love about the big open room is we have two closets. I'm not even gonna show you that one. <laughs> you right? <laughs> they don't want to see what's in there. Um, that's the American Girl Closet and it is a big mess, isn't it? Because you threw stuff in there. I did. I totally threw stuff in there. <laughs> like all my blankets. Your blankets are in there. We've got a big blanket girl here. Um, but it was a mess before with the American Girl. So that's on our list before we move is to to clean all that up. So um, two closets, it also allowed us two fans and lighting fixtures and more than anything just a big open space. So if I don't know the future kids that live here, if they want a share room, if they want a big playroom, this could be a gym, um, obviously a bedroom, some sort of suite, mother-in-law suite, guests. But the space just ended up so, so great and it truly is one of my favorite elements of this house. Mm -hmm.